Hi, my name is Kana Patterson, and I am a member of the Cumberland County Buckaroos 4-H Goat Club. I have been a member of 4-H for eight years and currently own and manage a herd of about 20 Nigerian dwarf goats, as well as 10 different breeds, including 17 varieties of exhibition poultry. When we first started with registered Nigerian dwarfs back in 2018, the first goat we ever bought was actually naturally hornless, which is referred to as polled. The American Dairy Goat Association requires that all goats be disbudded if not already naturally hornless, which makes having polled goats a huge bonus. So in this video, I'll be going over what polled goats are, the basic genetics of it, and three different signs you can look for to tell if a goat is horned or polled. As stated earlier, a polled goat is a goat that naturally does not have horns. This is genetic, and you can find examples of polled goats in just about any dairy breed. And even though you don't see a lot of polled meat goats, the gene still works the same in all breeds. The term polled should only be used when talking about a goat that is naturally hornless. If a goat keeps its horns, it is referred to as horned. If a goat was disbudded as a baby, it will permanently be referred to as disbudded. A goat that has its horns removed as an adult would be referred to as a goat that has been dehorned. In goats, the polled allele is dominant, meaning only one allele or copy is needed for it to be expressed. The symbol for the polled allele is represented by a capital P, and a lowercase p is used for the horned allele. This means a genotype of capital P slash lowercase p or capital P slash capital P would result in polled goats. But because horned is recessive, only a genotype of lowercase p slash lowercase p would result in a horned goat and you will never get a polled goat from breeding two horned goats together. Unfortunately, in goats, breeding two goats together that are polled can result in goats with what we call polled intersex syndrome, meaning they are intersex and of course cannot be used for breeding. This is why we don't see entire breeds or herds of polled goats like we do in cattle and sheep, who don't have this polled intersex syndrome. Determining if a goat is horned or polled is something that can be determined at birth. There are three different ways you can use to determine this. One way you can tell is by looking at the direction of the fur on the head. A goat that will grow horns should have fur swirled right around where the horn bud will grow. A polled goat will not have these swirls. Typically, the fur just sticks out from each side. Another way you can tell is by feeling the horn buds. Some goats, especially bucklings, will already have horn buds present at birth. If they do not, this means the goat is either polled or the horn buds haven't come in yet. And do keep in mind that this can take up to four weeks, although two weeks is the norm. Do keep in mind that some polled goats may have bumps under the skin that do not emerge, and this is referred to as giraffe polled, but usually these bumps aren't visible until adulthood. Finally, the last and best way you can tell if a goat is horned or polled is by the way the skin moves on the head. You can tell this by placing two fingers right over where the horn buds would be and moving the skin. If the skin moves, then the goat is polled. But if the skin doesn't move, this means the goat is horned. Overall, having polled goats is a really nice bonus when breeding because it reduces the number of kids you need to disbud. And although it requires a bit of knowledge to breed polled goats safely and effectively, it is really easy to tell if a goat is horned or polled, making it well worth the effort. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you all enjoyed learning about polled goats.